Hi, my name is Vincent Simone. In this lesson, I'm gonna provide you with a system to steal aces, and you will have a bulletproof return of serve very quickly if you follow these steps. Let's begin. The return of serve is a half setup and a full swing. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the swing path and the footwork. First, let's start with what to do with the racket. So when the ball is coming, right, a lot of people have different styles and ways of going about this, but we come up and we split step, okay? The commonalities of the split step is that it happens at the exact same time as your opponent contacting with the serve. So we're gonna assume that we've already gotten into our split step and we're up on our toes and ready to pounce. Now from here, the return of serve is a volley with a follow through. It's gonna be a half setup and still a full swing. Let's start with the forehand first. We're gonna square our strings to the incoming ball. We wanna make sure that we keep our hands out in front of us. We don't want our elbows tucked in, okay, like a little T-Rex. You want them up and away from our body and we want you know, the butt of our racket in line with our belly button. We should be able to shoot a basketball or a volleyball or a soccer ball in this space. Now, from here, we wanna make sure that we don't take the racket back any further than our belly button. You wanna pretend that there's a brick wall behind you. If you take your racket back any further, you're gonna smash your $300 racket against the wall, it's gonna break, it'll be very terrible. The reason you wanna think like this is because any sort of extra movement is gonna steal time away and it's gonna cause you to be late on this shot. It's very difficult to set up with a full swing unless it's a very slow or weak second serve because you're gonna have a tough time being precise if you take a full cut. So what we wanna do is simplify this into a setup like a volley. We're gonna go and when we swing, we have a full swing. So you don't wanna get into the habit of blocking the return of serve like a lot of people do, right? You don't wanna get into the habit of, boom, playing it safe. So, so take a full swing, 100%. Just make sure that you don't pull the racket back to Alaska because that will really hurt you. Now, let me show you the footwork. It's gonna go like this. When you set up for the volley, you shift the weight onto the outside leg and you delay the step by tapping the toe or dragging the toe. And when we hit, just like the first volley, right, moving into the court, we would hit while we're in the air. And you wanna land on your front foot as you hit. So it's gonna go like this. Shift the weight to the outside leg, keep the racket in front of our belly button, drag the toe, and land on the front foot. When we do this, we wanna make sure we don't over rotate as well. A lot of people make the mistake of falling over after. And that's gonna cause for, you know, a weak contact point when you're hitting through the swing. So make sure that you stay with the ball. And I recommend, you know, staying sideways as well, a little bit longer. Really make sure you don't over rotate and finish off balance. Now for the shot, we're gonna go through the middle of the court, especially on the first serve, because it's very hard to, you know, aim the ball and be precise. And you'll notice that even just by aiming right through the middle, the ball will usually go off to one side or the other, and it could end up even being a winner if you're lucky. So aim for the middle of the court. Now on the backhand, it's gonna be the same thing. I have a one-handed backhand, so that's what I'm gonna use for this demonstration. And it's the same. We'll go with the racket first. We keep the racket in line with our belly button. We keep our elbows away from our body, and we set up like a volley. It's a half setup and a full swing, okay? I'm not gonna take my racket past my belly button. And from here, I'll show you the swing. We're gonna shift the weight to the outside leg, delay the step by tapping the toe and dragging it. And then when we go, we explode, we hit while we're in the air and land on our front foot. On the one-handed backhand and two-handed backhand, we also stay sideways. On the one-handed backhand, we're gonna spread the wings and make sure that we keep the wrist up the entire time. Dropping the racket face, you know, below the hand, 
will hurt you, especially on the return. You need to have a firm contact point and keep this letter L for leverage, okay? You also wanna get full arm extension and notice how when I finish, I'm still in this position here. And we're extending both arms out, okay? We're spreading our wings for balance so that we don't finish off balance. So make sure you don't forget about the non-hitting hand. And the two-handed backhand, it's the same thing. We stay sideways, okay? Finish on the front foot. This is how to have a bulletproof return of serve.